Hello everyone, it's DA here with some Warframe news, some of them about some quick changes to the core mechanics and gameplay, and some of them will be relating to the prime items in the game. Starting with the changes, this is something that they had spoken about a few death streams ago, and they have finally done it. A lot of people who were able to use Trinity's link for trick shots, onslaught killing, focus farming, basically the Trinity DPS build has been crippled. Link abilities like that of Necros, Trinity, and Nidus will no longer transmit self-damage. This is something that Dehe has done because of the people using Trinity for the jump and nuke builds. Dehe had expressed several times that they are not a fan of the whole self-damage to buff style of play, and we can use Chroma as an example in this situation. The treatment of this resulted from the use of certain arcanes or Warframe abilities that can transfer self-damage. You will still be able to transfer damage to enemies, but not when you damage yourself. Up next in the news is the Prime Vaults and the Prime Items. Zephyr Prime Access will be ending on the 19th of June because that has been 3 months already. This means you will no longer be able to purchase the Prime Accessories, but you will still be able to farm the Prime Frame and her weapons in the game. Along with that, Necros Prime, Tigris Prime, and Galatin Prime will be getting into the vault. This means you will no longer be able to acquire their relics in the game, but if you already have those relics, you can still farm the Warframe and weapons. This means we can prepare for the next Prime item, which by the order of things will be Limbo, or in some cases, DE can switch it up and make it Chroma. Now with all that set aside, this is going to be a short one, I would just say make sure you go ahead and farm this relic and farm this prime parts before they are vaulted on the 19th of this month. Thanks for watching this video, hope this information was useful, and I'll see you on the next one.